It has been mentioned in the textbook that most metals do not exist as pure metal in nature, but as ions in ionic compounds. One of the metals that only exists as ions in nature is sodium metal. We have to protect sodium metal from air and water once it is made, but even under oil it corrodes. Here is some sodium metal that has been under oil. Note that it does not look like a metal. It is corroded. When I cut the big corroded piece, and it cuts very easily, it's a soft metal, see the shine on the freshly cut surface, showing that it really is a metal with an area of corrosion. And it's a soft metal because I can cut it with the spatula. If a small piece of sodium metal did exist in nature, inside a rock for example, what would eventually happen to the rock? It would eventually corrode from weather, the piece of sodium metal would be touched by rainwater. What would happen then? Well, let's see. Here's a smaller piece. Nice shiny surfaces. When it goes into the water, what's happening? First, it doesn't sink. That's because it's reacting with the water to separate hydrogen gas out of the water and the hydrogen bubbles make it float on the surface. It does this by cut becoming ions and dissolving in the water. So as it dissolves, the sample gets smaller. So what is the naturally occurring form of sodium metal? Our balanced chemical equation says sodium metal reacts with water by displacing hydrogen from the water and making sodium ions and hydroxide ions. The naturally occurring form is sodium ions not sodium metal.